Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama. I'm here today to share with you a project called a mini loaded envelope. And I'll be using papers from Taylor Made Cards for You, who I'm designing for, and it's called a kit called Passport to Fall. I hope that you will enjoy watching this, so just stay tuned and we'll get started now. Now I have cut out already one of the papers. Now this paper comes normally on an eight and a half by eleven sheet, but I resize it to a six by six. I'm going to do or attempt to show you how to do a mini loaded envelope. So this is one of the sheets that I'll be doing. We need two of these six by six sheets. This is not my own dis um, layout, but of course my papers that I got, but uh, it's not my own layout. layout. I got it from someone else, so I can't take credit for that. Uh, there's also a, a sheet that comes with these two pieces on it. They're about a five by seven. And then there's a page one and two uh, cards kit. This is page one, and I will be printing out probably page two later. I may have that backwards, <laughs> but anyway, I'll put a promo sheet in of what I'll be using. So anyway, that's what I'll be working with, and I will share share with you how to do that. Okay, now I have, like I said, I've already cut these papers out, but to make the the loaded mini loaded envelope, you need, of course, the two sheets. And what I've done uh, now, the lady didn't do this part; she just magically folded it without doing any scoring but I've got to have the scoring because otherwise I would have my folds all uneven <laughs> which is you know about par for my course anyway what I did so I could get it make sure I had them in the center the folds in the center I know that with it being six by six it's going to be three in the center so that means from the center to the edge it's going to be one and a half inches so I scored and then folded on both pieces and that's all you do with that so then the next step that you do is you take your paper and I got glue here that's, so that movie's up where to the dog sees the squirrel <laughs> I just saw a squirrel okay you take your paper and decide where you want this one to be on top of this one. This is my main one here. And you fold it in half or about in half. And I do want it, I want it like maybe a little bit less than half because once you fold it, it's going to have whatever length there, that's going to be your area that you're going to be uh, putting whatever you want in. That's the size you're going to be using. So I want it maybe even a little bit more than half. So, let's see. That way it's not too small. Okay, so fold it. Oops. Burnish it. Same thing with this one. I want it up here. Um, so I think this is going to be a little short pocket here. So that's as far as it's going to go, it looks like. And it doesn't have to be even here. It just as long as you get to where you want it. I love this paper. Okay, that's where I want it. Okay, now if the little white piece there bothers you, I think I'm off. I got off camera. I'm sorry. I've been trying to readjust my camera because I've rearranged things. So. Okay, so but if this little piece of white here bothers you, just you know you can trim that off if you want to, and it probably will bother me. So now you've got these pieces. Oh, my way. These pieces. Now what you want to do is take your glue gun, make sure it's in the right spot, 
make sure it's all the way down. I almost didn't check that. Take your glue gun and put glue on both sides and then fold it over. And now you have a pocket here. Just a little tiny pocket, but it's a pocket. Need some more glue. Okay, same thing over here. Open it up. Glue it down. I don't think it takes a whole lot of glue. And fold it over. Just glued my finger. Okay, so you got one more. Now this one doesn't have the opening because it's the back of the the uh, orange paper, so. So now you got one, two, one, two, three, four pockets. Now, personally for me, for this piece here, I might put something over that because of the opening here. Or you could just decorate it, turn it corner to corner. Let me scoop this up a little bit more. Okay, you can turn it corner to corner if you want to, but I won't be doing that. So, anyway, you can decorate that or you can just leave it like it is. It doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't have done that because I messed it up now. So then now you can put little po uh, things into your pockets. Now, I've got a tag that I'll be printing out that will fit in, in here. So, but I want to show you next before I do anything else with that. Um, I just mainly want to show you how to do that, and I'll show you the finished on it afterwards with pictures and stuff. Okay, so I took uh, some of the leftover paper, and I scored it at one quarter inch intervals, and I am going to take this and cut it into a half inch strip. Whoops, as long as I don't lose my blade. I love this tool, but the blade comes out so easily. So this is just some scrap paper, but it's a lot easier to cut and fold on a, or score on a larger sheet of paper than it is to score on a half inch sheet strip, actually. <clears throat> So it's all scored. And now all I've got to do is do my accordion fold on those score lines. Each score line is a quarter inch. So this makes it a one half inch by seven inch strip because that's what I'm working with is a seven inch strip and with a quarter inch folds. Okay, now you see here that this paper has the valley folds and the mountain folds. So I'm going to take, because you don't want to end, uh, both of them to end downward, you want one to end upward and one to end downward on your strip. So now you can see that I have this end goes up and this end goes down, or vice versa. Depends on how you hold it, doesn't it? So refolding, just so I can get these strips down here really good, or folds down really good. That's good. You can't, it's hard for me, somebody else might be able to, but they might be able to take a bone folder <coughs> and get these down really good, but it's too small for me to do that. So. I am going to take some hot glue now. 
I'm going to place a little bit on here. And I'm going to bring the other end to it. Now I'm not going to put it right on that fold because you don't want it right on on the crease actually. You don't want it right on the crease. Now I will put a link in my video below of uh, working with one that's bigger which is a lot easier than working with smaller as you'll be able to tell but I just needed some tiny ones for that. So you just kind of work it together just kind of because you want it to go downward. Okay, so so now I have my little rosette. It's just a matter of working with it and truthfully the bigger ones are easier to work with. So I'm going to take, oops, I don't want to lose it now. I'm going to take and open it up just a little bit. And I'm going to put some hot glue in the middle of this glass mat. And pull it together. Making it even. And the re that's <clears throat> the reason you want glass mat or something that's heat resistant. Is so that way you can put it on a safe surface that won't hurt. And see now you have your little rosette. Now it should be glued and dried now and I'm going to take my scissors and pull it up and now you have a little rosette. It just takes a little working and the best thing to do is start bigger of course, the, the bigger the rosette, the longer the sheet of paper is going to be. You can still have quarter inch folds to it. You can have half inch depending on uh, the length of your uh, rosette. But this is what you end up with. Now, isn't that pretty? I can use it on something else now. Here is my finished project. I mean, I'm missing some cards here. Oh, here they are before you get a good look at that here is my mini loaded pocket using material from Taylor made cards for you I'm going back out just you know here okay <clears throat> just ignore the mess on that side um, I have on the back of it you see the pretty pattern I didn't want to cover that up so you got that pretty pattern, and then I have the uh, uh, the sentiment that's on there. May the bounty of the season fill your heart and home. It's a beautiful saying. And I took each of these tags and journal cards, I took each of them, and I backed them with very thin chipboard because I wanted them to be pretty sturdy. So here, first of all, is a tag that comes in it. In the kit, I just put a hole in it at the top and put a yellow and orange ribbon through it because I thought that would be, um, you know, a pretty color for the the tag. And see how I have it chipboard back here. And you, I can cover that if I want to, but I don't think I will. But anyway, there's that one. And then the garden seeds with one of the rosettes in the end. There's that one. And then the next pocket has a couple of cards here these two right here and then I just put that back on I say I just put it back on but sometimes I have a hard time doing it doing it so <laughs> okay so I have that set and then I have this card here in the third pocket from the top and this one was a piece that was like this okay it was sectioned off and it was where I could crease it and when I open it up I have this sunflower card that is an add-on to to the kit uh, that I had got and uh, 
I just put it in the middle and and I don't know if you'll be able to hear but it's, I've got a magnetic closure to it so there that is I can set it in here like that and then open it up so that's what that one is now I have the two little cards in the little pocket and of course they have the little chipboard on the back too and Someone's mowing out, so I don't know if you can hear or not, but somebody's mowing. The chipboard does make it a little bit thicker, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I just have to work with it. There we go. If I do it right, that might work. And then at the very bottom, I put the pumpkin that was on the uh, in in the kit uh, on one of the sheets. I put the pumpkin on there. And I also have chipboard on it. So there you have one, two, three, four pockets. I added ribbon to this piece here because I, when I mess with it, you know, it kind of uh, wanted to stay open. So I put that ribbon down there. I put a piece of ribbon down here. You can't really see too much, but I put put a piece of ribbon down there, and there you have it. This is my mini loaded envelope with all the pieces to it. And I really had fun making it. It's my first one, and I thought these papers were perfect for it. And uh, I'll put pictures at the end. And I may do something else to show at the end, too. So, anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out you know, all the design team members. And have many blessings. Bye for now. See you next time. Mm -hmm.